Hi everybody, it's Gemma. Welcome back to Pampered Wolf. We are back to reality with a bang and to kick off the normality, we are going to be doing the next in the series of the If I Could Only Keep One videos and today is the turn of the blushes. Now, I am rather partial to a really nice blush. As you know, if you are a regular to my channel, I have a tendency of applying a little bit too much because I get carried away, especially if it's just such a beautiful, beautiful product, really easy to apply and really easy to blend out. So I have loads of favorites and it's been very, very difficult to whittle it down to just two. So as per usual in these videos, I will be giving you my ultimate number one favorite blush. And if that favorite blush is not affordable and cruelty free, I will also be giving you an option for both of those categories as well. I have so many blushes in front of me. I own loads because blush is pretty much my thing. I really, really like blush. So we have probably a half and half split in front of me. This is not my full collection, but just to give you a little bit of a rundown on what I've had to work with. Again, this is not my full collection, but we've got a blush from Fenty. We've got um, one of the NARS liquid blushes, love. We've got a Chanel stick blush. We've got... Um, the Cheek Leader pack from Benefit. We've got some blushes from Hourglass. We've got one from e.l.f. We've got a NYX blush. We've got uh, number seven, which I've done a review on number seven. I absolutely love this. We've also got a Revlon blush, one from MAC. Uh, L'Oreal Life's a Peach. I use this in so many of my videos. It's such a pretty colour. We've got one from Physicians Formula. Very, very affordable. Really pigmented. Absolutely gorgeous. The Bare Minerals Gen Nude Collection. So super pigmented. You need very, very little. Absolutely stunning. And a palette from Nip and Fab as well. So again, this is not all of my collection, but I'm just giving you a sample of what I've had to work with. So let's just jump straight into it. I got a feeling that if you are a regular to my channel, you will already know what I'm going to say is my number one blush of all time. This is the one I reach for most often. This is the one that I have on today. It just glides on like a dream. It's just so easy to blend out. It's super pigmented, but yet not too super pigmented that it's not beginner friendly. It just gives so much life and luminosity to the skin as well. So you can get away with wearing this if you've got a super matte foundation on and you want to give your skin a little bit more glow without it looking sparkly and glittery, which can look unflattering on a more mature skin. This is definitely the blush to go for. It's so beautiful. And it's one from Hourglass. Now, this is my ultimate favourite colour, but they do come in so many different shades. This is the shade Luminous Flush. And if you have a look in the description boxes of so many different videos that I've done in the past, you will see this blush mentioned because I wear it all the time. I've got it on today. It's just absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So easy to use, comes with a mirror. It is rather pricey. I will link all the prices below, so I will have to do an affordable option for this, but this is cruelty free. So you cannot go wrong with this blush. I've also got the Hourglass Holiday Collection Ghost Palette, Ambient Lighting Blush Palette. This is so, so beautiful. There are two strobe blushes in here, this one and this one, and also two of your regular ambient lighting blushes. I use these all the time. I tend to dip into all four and put it all over. It's just so, so nice. Obviously quite pricey, but you're getting more for your money in this palette than you would be if you were to buy four of the individual size. They last you such a long time. Considering that I use this all the time, hardly looks like there's a dint in it. I have not hit pan yet. So as far as I'm concerned, although it is rather pricey, you get a lot 
for your money. My number one drugstore blush is from a video that I did not so long ago. If you haven't seen my full face of NYX video, I will link that up here for you and also in the description box below so you can watch that a little bit later on. But for me, NYX have seriously upped their game in the makeup world. They have become one of the main contenders, if not the main contender within the drugstore market. If I didn't know the price of these products and it was a blind test, I would have actually thought that a lot of the NYX products were actually high-end products rather than the drugstore affordable products that they actually are. So if you haven't tried any of the NYX products, I seriously recommend going and trying them because they have some amazing, amazing products. So the one that I'm gonna recommend to you, and this is my second favorite of all time, is the Sweet Cheeks Blush. This is a matte blush. I like to use this if I've got a really luminous foundation on. If I just want to mattify my cheeks a little bit where I've got a few large pores, then this is definitely the one that I use. Now this comes in so many different shades. It also comes in two different finishes. The matte version is my favorite. They also do a very pearlescent, shimmery, more metallic, finish which I think for me personally is going to be more suitable for my eyes and I definitely would use them on my eyes not personally on the cheeks but I could see it looking absolutely beautiful on the cheeks but the matte ones are my favorite now you will be able to find your shade in these there are so many to choose from so no matter what your skin tone is no matter what shade your skin is you will find a blush at NYX to suit your skin and and your complexion. These are absolutely beautiful. They go on like a dream, blend out beautifully. The only thing I would say is you have to be really careful how you apply this to make sure you don't get too much on your brush because you get too much on your brush. These are seriously, seriously pigmented. You don't want to end up looking like a clown. Having said that, these are really, really easy to blend out. Just absolutely beautiful, buttery, just gorgeous, and I absolutely love them. I had somebody ask me a question about what are the blushes that actually aren't that pigmented because they are quite heavy handed. So what I would suggest that you do if you are quite heavy handed, let me just grab a brush. When you are applying your blush, hold it at the ends with just two fingers and just dab it in the product a little bit and apply it like that. If you are applying it with just two fingers at the end of it, it's impossible to apply too much pressure to the cheek area. So you're actually just wafting it really, just showing it to the skin. You're not going to be applying too much. So that would be my recommendation if you don't really like very, very pigmented blush because you are heavy handed, that's one way to get around the problem. So just make sure you are holding it with just two fingers right at the end of your blush brush and just waft it over the area that you want to apply the blush to. You will get a really, really pretty, beautiful hue of color on the cheek and really, really beautiful. So these are my two favorites in the if I could only keep one blush. I know there are two of these, if I could only keep one, actually, if I could only keep two, but this is drugstore, this is high-end, both are cruelty-free, both are absolutely superb, phenomenal on the skin, just melt into the skin, make it look so, so beautiful. This just gives life to the skin, it really does just lift the skin and make it look alive. This one's also very, very beautiful, very easy to apply. Love them both. If you still feel like you cannot use a powder on your cheek area, then I wouldn't actually recommend that you go and buy a cream blush. I would recommend that you go out and buy a cream lipstick. It's multi-purpose. It's often a lot more affordable than buying a cream blush. It also comes in far more different shades than you will ever find in any cream blushes. And it's multi-purpose. You can use it in two areas. A couple of dots on the cheek area and just blend that out with your fingers and jobs are good. And anyway. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. I hope you like my top choices. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Don't forget, I'm also on Instagram if you want to follow me on there. It's at Pampered Wolf, all lowercase, no spaces. And don't forget to click subscribe and also click on that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. I upload on Mondays and Thursdays at 8 p.m. London time. Hope to see you all in the next video.